Entrepreneur Gavin Fox originally bought the building at 312 South Main Street with the expectation of turning it into a children's museum. Fox's wife, Molly, was the one who initially came up with the concept for the museum, which will be called Discovery Heights. The idea developed fairly organically. A group of friends and I were talking about it, and um, it started off as a hypothetical, wouldn't it be cool if, and from there has um, generated some steam. Molly Fox saw the idea as an opportunity to create an educational space for children and parents. As a mom, she also knows just how difficult it is to occupy her children on the weekends. There isn't anything within an hour's drive. Um, you know, an hour's drive, you factor there and back, that's two hours, and the time spent, I mean, it becomes a whole day event. However, <laughs> fundraising for the project seems to be taking longer than originally expected. That's why Gavin Fox decided to open a mini golf course on site for the time being. Our primary goal is to just to rehab the building and then of course the mini golf thing came about as, uh, as a stopgap in terms of not losing money uh, rather than making money. Currently, Molly Fox and her team are working on raising $150,000. One of their first major fundraising events was a paint party on September 21st. They brought in a local artist to teach adult participants how to paint House Mountain. So far, the Discovery Heights Museum team has a mock-up of the future floor plan for the site and ideas for exhibits. The space will include a music room, a theater area, and replicas of shops on Main Street. Discovery Heights board member and Whisk Creek Montessori teacher Farish Dayurani believes her experience as an educator will help her create interactive, hands-on exhibits for children. I think that's really what a children's museum is all about. It's okay for children to come in and touch things and to feel things and it's not a hands-off experience. The Discovery Heights Museum team hopes to have the building converted in the next year or two. In the meantime, Lexington residents will have to settle for a hole-in-one on the golf course. For the Rockwood Report, I'm Alexandra Klein.